hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys an acrylic painting time lapse of jerry so here i've already prepared my paper with gesso and starting off with the background i'm using yellow ochre burnt sienna and black and i'm creating a light to dark gradient from left to right then for the surface area, I am using burnt sienna and a tiny bit of yellow ochre and a tiny bit of black to create again a gradient from right to left. You can choose the background and the surface color as you like. I kept it a little understated because I want to make the red from the cherry to pop. For the cherry, I am using the base color of Crimson Lake. Remember to leave some white spots on the top part for the highlights so that the cherry looks round and glossy just as real. Now mixing the crimson lake with some black, I'm creating the shadow area to the lower part of the cherry. Sharpening up the edges a little bit when it's needed. For the lighter areas of the cherry, I'm using scarlet red. I'm using titanium white on the top of the cherry to create the highlights. Talking about the surface of painting, I gessoed my paper for a better finish and thicker surface. Because the medium here we are using with acrylic paint is only water, there are chances for the paper to swell. So gessoing prevents the paper from swelling and gives a smooth finish after we are done with the painting. I'm also darkening up the area under the cherry to create some shadow of the cherry on the surface. So for the stem, I'm using sap green and I'm mixing the sap green with a tiny bit of black and lining the edges of the stem. Using some ochre and lemon yellow, I am lightening up the middle part of the stem using a zero sized brush. So here is the final finished painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this painting process and this video has been helpful for you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And I'll meet you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.